What's up guys, my name is Connor. I'm Jonathan. We're from the Los Alamitos uh, Recreation and Community Services Department and we're gonna talk about some football drills you guys can do at home. So the very first thing we're gonna talk about is throwing. Um, the very first thing you wanna think about when you're throwing a football is how you wanna hold it and I'm gonna show you guys how you wanna grip a football. So how you hold a football is kind of just up to you on what you're comfortable with. Most people like to put two fingers on the laces just like this. Uh, I like to put three, but that's just what I'm comfortable with. Um, it's whatever you decide, whatever you feel like is best for you. All right, once you guys got your grip down, then you guys can go ahead and start throwing. So when you want to throw to a partner, just like we're about to do with Jonathan right here, you want to point your shoulder towards your target just like this. Keep that ball up high by your chin. Get your eye on your target, all right? Once you're ready to throw, you're going to bring the ball back like that, bring it back by your ear, keep it by your ear, and you wanna step while you're throwing. Once you're ready to throw, you're gonna bring it past your ear, all right, let go just like that. You want, you want it to come off your index finger, and then you wanna follow through, finish out your opposite pocket, just like that. All right guys, the next segment of this video is gonna be catching. We're gonna go over hand placement and how to properly receive the ball from the person that's throwing it to you. All right guys, now we're gonna talk about catching. Talk about hand placement first, okay? So first thing you wanna do is create a nice diamond with your fingers like this. You wanna catch it like this if the ball is being thrown at your chest or above your head, anywhere in that area. If it's not, if it's underthrown, it is thrown below your waist, you're gonna flip your fingers, fingers pointing down, you're gonna catch it, create a nice little basket right here, okay? All right guys, so after you catch the ball, you wanna make sure you look the ball in, meaning make sure the tip of the ball goes through the diamond that you created with your hands, okay? Then, depending on if you're right-handed or left-handed, you're gonna use your hand, flip the ball, and bring it to whichever dominant hand you have. Make sure the ball is nice and tucked in, the back tip of the ball is tucked into your armpit, okay? Now that we went over how to throw and catch a football properly, we're gonna teach you guys a fun game that you can work on these techniques with um, in the backyard with your whole family. So it's gonna be an egg toss. Uh, I'm sure you guys have heard of it before, except we're not gonna be using an egg, we're gonna be using a football. So you guys are gonna start off five to 10 feet apart. Everybody's gonna have a partner. My partner is Jonathan. The other members of your family are gonna be lined up just like this as well uh, at the same spots opposite from each other. You're gonna start, one side is gonna have a ball. You guys are all gonna throw at the same time. So three, two, one, go. They're gonna catch it. Once they catch it, they're gonna do the same thing. So three, two, one, go. Everybody throws it back to the person who started with the ball. After everybody's caught it, you guys are all gonna take one step back just like this and then rinse and repeat the same process. Uh, you guys are gonna keep going until you drop the ball. Once you drop the ball, you and your partner are out. Whoever is last standing is the winner. Hey guys, so we're going to talk about flag pulling now, okay? First step you're going to want to do is engage with the opponent. So the person that's running the ball, you're going to want to run up to them, get in front of them. Okay, second thing is get into your defensive stance. It's a little bit of a squatting position, feet shoulder length apart, if not a little bit wider. Bend down, hands up, ready to go, okay? Third step is you're going to want to make sure your eyes are on their hips, okay? Make sure their eyes are on their hips. As uh, my friend Connor would say, hips don't lie. Same thing in defense, okay? Their hips are gonna lead you to wherever they're going. Okay, so eyes on their hips. Fourth step, you wanna make sure you get in front of them. So if they try and go around you, you can step either in front of them this way, follow them this way, just make sure you're in front of them so they run into you. Last step, make sure you use both hands. You have two for a reason, okay? Once you get in front of them, try and grab both of their flags, you're bound to get one, okay? You have a greater chance of grabbing both than just one. Okay guys, now that we properly taught you guys how to pull flags, here's a fun game that you guys can play with the whole family in the backyard. Um, it's called Tail Feather Tag. So for this game, if you have flags like what I'm wearing, this belt right here, you can go ahead and put those on, that'd be perfect for this game. But if you don't, that's okay. You can go ahead and just use whatever's laying around the house, maybe a hand towel, put it in your pocket, or a scarf of some sort. Just make sure it's long enough to be hanging out of your pocket um, for the game. So when we start the game, you wanna make a boundary first. You wanna use cones to mark off an area and everybody's gotta be inside those cones. If you don't have cones, just maybe use a grass area. 
um, you want to set a time limit as well. So it could be one minute, two minutes, 30 seconds. You want to start that timer, and then once the timer's going, that's when the game begins. You can do everybody against everybody. You can do teams, three on three, whatever the case may be. Um, the goal is to pull as many flags as you can during that time. If you pull a flag, you want to go ahead and put it in your pocket or put it into your belt like I'm wearing right here. If you lose a flag, you can go ahead and steal it back. Um, but it's got to be within that time limit. Once the time limit is over, whoever has the most flags is the winner of that round, whether it be a team or an individual. All right, guys, that's flag pulling. Hope you guys learned something new, something interesting. Take what you learned today, go outside, go have fun.